Welcome to another trading video. Again, today, as previous videos, we are going to go over the trades that we took last week, uh, the ones that we analysed uh, and the week before, and see what played out if we took any trades. Then we will move on to looking for opportunities for next week. So, the pairs that we looked at last week, I believe, was a GBP CAD. So if we find the Great British Pound CAD here, we can see we entered a trade here. Um, we entered this trade on Wednesday. We were looking for shorts. If you remember, we were looking for the retracement off of this high. It confirmed here, and we entered on an engulfing candle. You can see here, the candle that we entered on was an engulfing candle. It had already came down. Failed to rebalance, failed to make this high. I just put an arrow in the gap. So you can see here, we failed here to reach this high. And this is where we entered on the engulfing candle. So we had a successful trade there. This trade was a two and a half to one. Our stop loss was obviously above this previous high. <coughs> so this was a trade that we analysed the week before last and a trade that we entered last week. We entered the trade on Wednesday and we exited the trade on Thursday. So we'll just done it for a little over a day, a day and a half. So the next one was the New Zealand US dollar. New Zealand US dollar. Still waiting on a setup here, um, waiting for it to reach to this region. Um, I think I actually set up and I missed it or I, I didn't like the look of it because it never engulfed. It took two candles. There was no big wick. So we're still waiting for this to come up to retest, tap this area here and then we'll, you know, look at entering then. But we had no trade on in New Zealand US dollar. The next one was a Great British Pound US dollar. We entered a short on this position. So we will... <clears throat> so we entered on this candle here you can see it reached a high again retraced up similar to the New Zealand it came down, retraced up made an engulfing candle we entered here and we're still in this trade this is still an active trade you can see here a rope break of structure so broke the structure here I actually came back up and retested the structure before coming down. And we're looking for this area here, maybe 130, maybe 129 to exit this trade. So this is a trade we'll stay in um, for next week. Yeah, we need to be careful. We've got a couple of news events here. So we need to be watching when these news events are released. The next one was CAD CHF. So if we go up to our CAD pairs... And we never, we never took a trade on this. As you can see, we're waiting on it climbing back into this area here. We're waiting on it climbing back into this area here. Um, <coughs> so we never took a trade on that one either. And we had an active trade last week as well. Um, we were already in a gold trade. Uh, sorry, we were already in an oil trade. And the oil trade played out. As you can see here, it was bouncing off the support. Their take profit was the resistance area here. And as you can see, this is where we entered. And if you've been watching my videos, you can you know that the gold, sorry, oil is something that I trade on price um, more than kind of setups because I'm, I've got a stop loss here on the screen, but I really pull the stop loss away down here because I've, it's my safe place, oil. Um, I really know how the market moves and oil is where I've had my most success. So sometimes I don't even have the stop loss in there. I'm quite happy for it to go into drawdown and then I can add the position. I know that this uh, 80 mark is the kind of fair price for oil. So when you're down in the low 70s, you enter the trade, it is going to come back up and you just need to bide your time, sometimes it takes days, sometimes it takes weeks, <coughs> excuse me. So, that was um, three successful trades last week, um, three out of three, this oil one here obviously, but we're still active, we were in it from the week before, 
So we had this trade from the week before that played out last week and two trades that we entered last week and exited. So let's look at what we're looking for next week. So next week, I have got my eye on the Euro CAD. <coughs> so I'm looking for it to kind of <coughs> create a reaction here. You can see we've had a wick rejection here. It's not big enough for me. Um, I would like to see this been a little bit more. So we're kind of maybe waiting on an engulfing candle as well to confirm an entry here. Um, but you can see it did tap into this area and started to reverse. So we may have missed a trade, but we'll just need to monitor it. Um, but yeah, that's one there, the Euro CAD. The next one is the Euro New Zealand. It's consolidating down in this area. And as you can see, if we just go our box tool here, this is an area of interest over here. Uh, now you hear people call this area of interest, point of interest, support. I call it um, a point of interest because you can see here on this candle, the market is just shot away. So somebody's really been interested in price at this zone and it's never come back to create a support. Could you call this support? Again, just depends how people interpret support and resistance, but you can see it's been consolidating, going below, going above in this area, and then it's shot away. So I call this a point of interest. So this is where I start paying attention when we're back at this point of interest. And I'm waiting for a signal. I'm waiting for an engulfing candle from the long position, or I'm waiting on an engulfing candle. The last one from next week here is the New Zealand US dollar. Um, as you can see, again, we reached this area. But we never got an engulfing candle, if we just zoom in. The bearish candle never engulfed the bullish candle, that's why we didn't enter. And we never had a large wick either. So, but we're watching this, um, but again, we need to see one of those, sometimes two of those, to enter a trade. And it doesn't matter what else, how good it looks, if that doesn't match up, we don't take the trade. But... Yeah, we would have been in profit just now, but who knows, I've got a feeling this may come back and we test this area. And then again, we're not going to automatically enter as soon as it reaches this area. This is just the area where we're looking for a signal, we're looking for an entry signal, a reversal signal, a reversion signal via a big wick or an engulfing candle. Um, or if you're at a resistance area and the market's coming down, um, we call it in our video as big tails. So at the top it's a wick, at the bottom it's a tail. So that's it for this week. Short and sweet video. Yep, so we had three successful closeout trades last week. And it looks like we've got one, two, three potential setups for next week. And we're still actively in a two trades as well. Thank you for watching. Until next week, stay safe.